We're going to talk about parallel circuits and finding the equivalent resistance of resistors. And this gives people a lot of trouble, um, this concept. And I think the biggest problem people have with this is this idea of conductance is really hard to grasp at first. But let's just take a look. We have a, a formula that we use for parallel circuits and basically um, there's several different ways to write it. It's uh, 1 over R equivalent equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and on and on and on. Um, of course another way to rewrite that is you could just say R equivalent equals 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and on and on and on. And and still that people look at that and they're confused because they don't even know why we're doing all this. But let's look at it another way. What's really happening in a parallel circuit? One thing we know is that the voltage is constant, is the same I should say, across all three resistors. So we know that's true. So what we really need to do in a parallel circuit is we really need to find what all the currents are because each time we add another resistor, we're adding another path for current. And so once you realize that and that we're really looking for current here, it's current sort of the key, we're adding current every time we add another resistor, then we can really just solve this by just arbitrarily sticking a voltage across those resistors and finding out what the currents are and then converting that back into a resistance. So we, a good number to use would be one volt. So let's just assume that this circuit has one volt in it. Notice I'm not even asking for the, for the uh, currents or anything else. I'm just uh, showing you a circuit here and if we're asked to find REQ, what are we going to do? And how do we understand this formula? Well, for the first resistor, we can find the current by just saying I R1 equals 1 volt over 2 ohms, which is 0.5 amps. So that would be the current through that resistor if we had 1 volt across it. For the second resistor, I R2, we're just going to use our same 1 volt because the voltage is the same across all the resistors. So 1 volt over 5 ohms equals 0.2 amps. So we found these two currents and these two currents are going to add together to form the total current into this resistor network. For the third resistor, I R3, and I picked these obviously to be easy to work, um, 1 volt over 10 ohms equals 0.1 amp. So this is what we're summing right here these currents. Every time we added a resistor, we added another path for current in this circuit. So this turns out to be 0.8 amps. Now we're not done yet because we're asked to find the equivalent resistance. We know we're working with one volt here. We just arbitrarily assigned one volt across all these resistors. So to find REQ, we've got to take voltage divided by the current, the total current that we found. In this particular case, that's 1 volt over 0.8 amps. And that turns out to be 1.25 ohms, which is our answer. So that's the equivalent resistance for those three resistors. Now, there's a couple of checks. Well, actually, there's one check, and that one check is this resistance should be lower than the lowest resistor that we have. And it turns out it is. It's less than two, which is a good sign. That means you probably got the right answer. But if you go through all these steps, you see that it's really this formula right here that we just went through. So 
And, I, and by the way, if you're going to remember a formula or memorize a formula, I recommend you memorize this formula. There are some other formulas for two resistors, and I can't even remember what it is because to me, I just like to memorize the general form of the equation. And really, with this method, even if you didn't remember this, you could still figure out what the equivalent resistance was by just knowing Ohm's law and one of the properties of parallel circuits, which is the voltages across the resistors is the same. And this works whether you have a complex circuit that's a series parallel circuit or just a plain parallel circuit. It'll help you find the equivalent resistance. But look at what's going on here. We're taking the reciprocal of two ohms here. Now in this formula that's what we're asked to do is take the reciprocal of the resistance. Resistance 1 and then we find the reciprocal of resistance 2 and the reciprocal of resistance 3. Then what did we have to do? We added all those currents together and that gave us the total current right here. Then we divided that current into the test voltage that we put in which was 1 volt and we came up with our EQ is 1 volt divided by 0.8 amps which is 1.25 ohms. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps you get kind of a handle on these problems and we'll do a series parallel problem in a later video.